Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's my with Miss Wagashi TV. Today, I will teach you how to make homemade mitarashi dango like this. Do you want to know what are the best ingredients and the rates for dango? Try this recipe. You will be amazed at the perfect chewiness and softness of dango. So let's get started! As a preparation, soak your skewers in water in advance. In a mixing bowl, place soft tofu. Mash soft tofu with a spatula. Press it down and make mashed tofu. Combine glutinous rice flour. Add sugar. Tablespoon of water and mix well until it makes a smooth dough. Please adjust the amount of water you add to. For this recipe, I use tofu, but if you don't have tofu, add water instead. The water amount is in the description. I am frequently asked why some recipes use tofu and some don't. Actually, dango with tofu and dango with water taste almost the same. You can't really taste of tofu in dango. Tofu is used not for the taste, but rather to achieve the perfect softness of dango. Roll the dough into a cylinder shape. Divide the dough into 16 equal small pieces and roll each into a small ball. Prepare a generous amount of water in a pot and bring it to a boil. Add dango to the water. When the dango floats the surface of the pot, let them boil for another 2-3 to three minutes. The total boiling time is about 5 minutes. Remove the dango from water and cool them in ice water. Dango become more chewy and less sticky by cooling in ice water. Let's make mitarashi sauce. Here is the ingredients of the sauce. In a saucepan, combine soy sauce, mirin, sugar, potato starch, and water. You can use cornstarch as a substitute for potato starch. Stir well with a spatula and heat over low medium heat. The sauce looks cloudy first. When the mixture has become clear and thick, reduce the heat to roll. Keep stirring the sauce, cook for another 30 seconds and turn off the heat.
Let's complete dango. Pat dango dry with a kitchen paper. Serve dango on a skewer. Slide three to five onto each bamboo skewer. Soaking your skewer in water in advance will help your work. Pan fry the dango on top of grill until slightly grill marked or pan fry the dango on non-stick pan. Graze dango with the mitarashi sauce. Enjoy your fresh dango straight away. But if you don't eat it straight away, keep in the fridge and microwave before you eat. Mitarashi dango is complete now. If you have any specific recipe that wants to be featured in the video, please leave a comment or send a message using the form in the description. Thank you for watching Miss Wagashi TV. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye-bye.